Hello everyone, my name is Tariq Ibrahimovic and today I will present the core ideas from a virtual thesis which is called Design and Verification of RISC-V Processor and System on Chip using FPGA technology. In today's world, where the demand for efficient and specialized computing is skyrocketing, from artificial intelligence to everyday smart devices, designing custom hardware has never been more important. The freedom to customize hardware at the processor level, thanks to open source architectures like RISC-V, opens new possibilities for making devices faster, smarter, and more efficient. That's exactly what I set out to do in this project. And through it, I also had the personal privilege of creating what is the first CPU ever designed in Bosnia and Herzegovina. We are all familiar with microcontrollers like Arduino. They're fantastic for learning and prototyping. However, Arduino boards use fixed closed source chips, which you can program but not change at the hardware level. In contrast, my project builds the processor itself, meaning you can modify not just the software, but the actual hardware, adding in new instructions, optimizing for speed, energy, or specific tasks like IoT or robotics. My processor is based on the RISC-V open architecture and implemented in FPGA technology, which is like a flexible playground for building real hardware without needing millions of dollars to produce the actual silicon chips. The main goals were twofold. First, to optimize the hardware usage using as little FPGA area as possible while still achieving a stable operating frequency of 50 MHz. Second, to enable software development, meaning that programs could easily run on the new processor. I designed key components like the instruction decoder, memory management, and control logic, all written in modern system verilog language. After completing the design, I verified the processor using official RISC-V tests and real-world benchmarks like Tristone and Mandelbrot fractal generation, which you can see on the slide. Compared to standard microcontrollers, my processor is smaller, easier to customize and based on an open source architecture, making it ideal for applications where you need specialized efficient computing without paying high licensing costs. In conclusion, this project shows that with open source hardware, FPGA technology, and a lot of perseverance, it's possible not just to innovate, but to help create a future where computing can be more accessible, efficient, and tailored to everyone's needs. This is just the first step, and I hope inspires more innovation coming from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Thank you.